So let's go ahead and import a couple of MLV files. Uh, I'm just gonna click and drag a couple. Go up to 1328 for me. Open and let me expand this so you can see it. So these are just some test shots I got um, when I was out. With MLV app, the cool thing is once you have this footage in here, you can make all kinds of color corrections to it, exposure, temperature, all those things. So now we're gonna scroll down and go underneath the graph and you see these two drop down menus. And the first one gives you three different options. Don't use camera matrix, use it, uncolor science fix. Um, if you click don't use it, it really just desaturates your entire footage, uh, which is fine. Or you can use uncolor science fix, which also kind of desaturates it, but not as dramatically as the first one. And now for the second one, which is where you can basically decide your picture style, the same way you do in your camera, whether you choose neutral, standard, faithful, whatever it is, um, you can do the same here. Uh, you can make it a log, Sony Log 3, and totally desaturate it, and that way you can color correct it as much as you want. You can use Alexa Log C, that's another good one. In when you select it this way, when you select either one of the logs, you want to be sure to click allow creative adjustments. And that way you can use this gradation curve graph or whatever it is to make color corrections in MLV app. Or you can just export it this way and then color correct it in Premiere or DaVinci, whatever you use. Um, another thing you can do here is enable LUTs. So I clicked that and then I went browsing. I like the Vintage Vibrance one. Hit open. And this is what it looks like. Uh, let's even scrub through that and see what happens. So it's very, yeah, this looks super vintage. I get it. Just kind of scrub through this a bit. So that's just using the LUT over a flat picture profile. And if you want to adjust the LUT and it's too much, you can drop it here. You can drop the LUT to not be as strong as it is. And that looks really bad though. That looks horrible. Yeah, let's just blow it out. No. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you can play with those, but you can just take it off and let the LUT do the work. Choose the last one, so pick cinema and open. And that cinema, you can still adjust the exposure. So I would actually like push that up or something because it looks really dark. It's not very good though. Drop the contrast towards the green and then increase the exposure. I don't know. But yeah, just messing around with it, um, that's kind of okay. Yeah, and that's leaving the adjustments off. If I turn it on, it'll do all this to it, or just leave it. So if I make any changes to the footage here, like for this case, I just dropped a LUT on. Um, if I go to another file, those settings do, uh, don't carry over into this file. However, my export settings will stay the same. Um, which is pretty nice, so you don't have to change it every single time. Uh, even if I close the program, my export settings will be the same when I reopen it. But that doesn't apply to your receipts. If you want to apply 
the same recedes. Let's go back, I'll show you. LUT enabled, what I go to is edit. And then let's say I hit copy receipt. And you select everything you want it to do. And just hit, I hit okay, you can select all, but I just hit okay. And I'm gonna go to this next one. And you can go to the edit, oops. You can go to the edit menu and hit paste. Receipt and scroll there. And you'll see here on enable LUT, Monsters and Robots was applied. And that's why it does that. I can also hit reset. And you can also hit control V. And that will also control V command control V or command V uh, if you're on a Mac. And uh, that will that'll also paste this in. You can also hit export receipt to just save it. So let's say you close the program and you reopen it and you insert a bunch of brand new clips. You can um, export this receipt. See, I have one here already. So save the monsters receipt. Save it. Actually, let's just say I close these two. There we go. Okay, so let's say I took those off um, or I close the program and bring in a whole bunch of brand new clips. Um, but I want to put the same settings on it, I can go to edit, import receipt, and it'll take me right there, and I can click monsters receipt, and hit open. Everything will be carried over, I just hit okay. And it applies the same settings to this footage. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is a really clever app, considering that it's free, and uh, it's very straightforward, which is so nice. So um, yeah, you can just go ahead and convert your footage as it is, or you can make corrections to it now and then just start editing it and drop it when you drop it into your, uh, your editing software. And again, you can just hit reset, receipt, and get rid of all of that. Um, I did another one, uh, import. I did this Loxy Vibrance, I hit that. Uh, I did a different one. And I liked that one a little better. But, uh, yep. And again, if uh, you just look at your export settings, they're the same all across.